ಸಂಬುದ್ಧೋ ಸಮ್ಮ ಸಂಬುದ್ಧಸ್ಸ ವಂದನ ಟು ದ ಭಿಕ್ಷು ಮಹಾಸಂಘ ವಂದನ ಟು ಆಲ್ ದ ನಾನ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಎನಿ ಟುಡೇ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಚೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ಟುಡೇ ಸೆಷನ್ ಪಂತೆ ವಿಮಲ ವಂಶ ಮಹಾಥೇರೋ who will be delivering a special lecture on introduction to the tradition of pali grammar and its importance respected dr prafulla gadpal sir and all the distinguished participants ladies and gentlemen this is sushma bajracharya from nepal and i have the pleasure of uh, coordinating today's session in line with ದೇವಮಿತ್ತ ಅನಾಗಾರಿಕ ತಮ್ಮಪಾಲ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಆ್ಯನಿವರ್ಸರಿ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಸೆಲೆಬ್ರೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಲಿ ಫೋರ್ತ್ ನೈಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ಈಸ್ ದ ನೈನ್ತ್ ಡೇ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಎನಿ ಡಿಲೇ ನಾವು ಐ ವುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಟುಡೇ ಸೆಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಪರ್ಮಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಚೇರ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಟುಡೇ ಸೆಷನ್ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಹಂಬ್ಲಿ Shri Parul Mesh, Meshram Madam to formally welcome our special guest speaker and all the participants. Shri Parul Ma'am, please. Thank you, Ma'am. Namo Buddhai. Uh, today is our ninth day of Pali Pakwara and on behalf of Padantacharya uh, Buddha Dat Pali Promotion Foundation, I humbly welcome you all. Today will be a special lecture on introduction to the tradition of Pali grammar and its importance given by Mahathero. I pay homage to Venerable Vimalvan Subhante Ji who is our speaker today and welcome him wholeheartedly with deep respect. I'll just give brief introduction about him. He belongs from Siri Kalyani Yoga Ashram Forest Monastery in Sri Lanka. He is a Pali scholar, teacher of Abhidhamma. and a mentor of vipassana meditation so it is really a great honor to have him with us today now i welcome one of our esteemed member dr prafulla garpal sir i express my greetings to to our technical team and all the supporting members who are continuously helping in conducting these sessions of pali pakwara i also welcome sushma ma'am who will be coordinating today and i extend my welcome to Tashi Namgyal ji who will be delivering thank you note again i show my appreciation to all the participants for attending today's special lecture now without taking much time now i will request uh, sushma ma'am please take over from here for moving forward in today's meeting thank you thank you thank you par par ma'am yes it is indeed a great honor for us to have a uh, most venerable Vimala Vangsa Vanteji with us and he'll be delivering a lecture on introduction to the tradition of Pali grammar and its importance. As Parul Ma'am has said, uh, he is a Pali scholar, Vante is a Pali scholar, teacher of Avi Dharma, mentor of Sam- Samatha and Vipassana meditation and he belongs to the monastery uh, Sri Kalyani Yoga Ashrama Forest Monastery in Sri Lanka. and currently he is doing meditation practicing meditation in pa ok tradition since past six and a half years it is indeed an honor for all of us to have the most venerable with us today and uh, i would very very humbly and with deep respect like to request the most venerable bimala vangsavante to please deliver his special lecture venerable please saying namotas bhagavata for three times to pay respect to the buddha namotas bhagavatu arhatu samma sambuddhas namotas bhagavatu arhatu samma sambuddhas namo tassa bhagavato 
Okay, now you can sue me. You mean everybody in in their private mobile? You can zoom it and see. <clears throat> Before we start the session, I would like to uh, I would like to stress to you all. We all that we all owe to the heavy debt of gratitude towards the towards an extraordinary gentleman who is a Buddhist revivalist and as well as a rider, rider. and you know he is the Siri uh, Devamitta Anagarika Dharmapala and he is he was a Sri Lankan nationality but he did mainly to India and to Sri Lanka. Uh, he caused to wake up both Sri Lankan and Indian mainly uh, to protect the Buddha Bear. And many different works he has done. And the works he has done uh, actually is, uh, is indispensable for all, uh, for the world today as uh, till to the end of the sasana. Okay, now we are ready to uh, rock and roll to our uh, main topic, that is the introduction to the Pali grammar uh, traditions and the importance of that, of them. And here you may understand that uh, uh, in the beginning, very beginning, I have recited a stanza that is the sa magadi mula bhasa nara yayadi kapika brahmano chasutalapa sambuddha chapi bhasa reti. Whenever you find out such type of uh, stanza, four line stanza, How do you take the meaning? For example, first you want to break out, break down the company uh, phonetic combinations and the other uh, samasa or the compound nouns. So here phonetic combination is there. Yaya yaya di kapika. You break it up and it becomes yaya plus adi kapika. And again you have chasutalapa. Chasutalapa ch asuta. Alapa, ch, ch, asuta, asuta alapa, yes. So, uh, asuta mean the, the one who uh, for for uh, the uh, for those those who had not heard the human alapa mean the speech human speech, and adikapika you go to the, the upper combine upper combination that that is it is called yaya plus kap adikapika. So this adhikapika mean the former uh, former uh, ages humans. Na, adhikapika nara. We want to take adhikapika nara like. So and again the second the, the first you want to break it up the uh, all combinations and now you want to uh, use the basic rules again. What are the that you need to find out what is the subject here and what are the object here. 
object or the objects here and uh, what is the verb sometimes you may have uh, several subjects sometimes you may have several objects sometimes you have one object or sometimes you don't have any objects any object and you need to find out again the verb here and if we go to find out the subject here what is the subject for example sa magadi mula bahasa mula bahasa so mula bahasa is one subject that is a singular subject and magadi and sa are the adjectives adjective so that and again you have nara and you have adikapika so adikapika nara is the plural again you have plural um, subject and again you have brahmano brahmano is a plural subject so brahma you know what is the declination brahma brahma brahmano like declination how to the brahma stem and again you have asuta uh, cha asuta alapa so asuta ala asuta alapa also uh, plural plural subject and again sam sambuddha sambuddha mean all buddhas all sama all supreme buddhas also here subject so there are many subject now and now how you want to uh, make the meaning now again we want, i want to say the again we have uh, now you don't have uh, here ayaya uh, mean ana uh, that is the that is the tatya vibhati tatya vibhati uh, thing it explain the uh, uh, alapa alapa mean here alapa mean what is the asuta alapa asuta alapa mean uh, that is the speech alapa mean the speech so it explain uh, yaya explain the speech or spe whatever the speaking or whatever the speak they it explain by means of what by means of what language like uh, sa uh, uh, yaya explain sa magadi sa or what language so uh, again we we didn't choose the, you don't have any object here and uh, you you want to go to uh, now what is the bahasare what is this bahasare bahasare is the verb now how this bahasare uh, is the verb you know sometimes verb is like let's say like karoti and uh, gachati like that or gachanti karanti like like uh, verbs you have but how it become bahasare so bahasanti become bahasare what is the uh, what is that you know bahasanti is the plural form of vartamana or the present tense uh, plural forms of the vartamana or the present tense that is the verbal mode uh, the one verbal mode and you have again uh, uh, plural uh, what is the singular form bahasati bahasati and bahasanti is the plural form bahasati is the singular form now there is a grammar rule high grammar rule in especially it mentioned in all grammar book that is the pathama purusa bahuvachanasa reva hoti what is the meaning uh, if you have pathama purusa bahuvachana pathama purusa for the pathama purusa bahuvachanasa reva hoti what is the meaning pathama purusa mean uh, you know this is the uh, third person third person plural for the third person plural forms you can add re instead of anti so bahasanti become then bahasre so then now you are going you are going to understand the meaning of this stanza how you want to understand the meaning in this way you have many subjects now let's say uh, in this way yaya uh, sorry adikapika nara yaya bahasare samagadi mula bahasa in that way you if you take the meaning it's very easy to translate to your language or to the english language or whatever the language so what, what is that adikapika nara so adikapika nara mean the former ages uh, humans in the former ages so the very beginning 
of this kappa. Kappa mean the un, uh, especially this asanke kappa. Uh, at the beginning, beginner beginners of the asanke kappa is the uh, asanke kappa are the uh, adikappika nara. Uh, the four uh, the former ages human and adhikapika nara uh, yaya bahasare by means of what language they speak uh, sa magadi mula bahasa that that is the magadi original language that's the meaning so again we want to go to uh, brahmano brahmano Yaya Bahasare Samagadi Mula Bahasa. Brahma. If you, if you have Brahma, you need to uh, include Deva also, celestial world Deva also. So Deva, Brahma, no? Yaya Bahasare Samagadi Mula Bahasa. So what is that? Uh, Brahma, no? Brahma, no? Mean the Brahmas by way of what, by means of what language they speak, uh, they speak Samagadi Mula Bahasa. That is the Magadi original language. And again, Asuta, just ch, ch mean and, Asuta Alapa, the people, the, the, those who had, uh, those who hadn't uh, he heard, those, those who hadn't heard a uh, human speech, Asuta Alapa, Yaya Bahasare, by means of what uh, language they speak, Sa uh, Magadi Mula Bahasa, that is the, Mag, mag, magadi original language and then samma sambuddha chapi samma sambuddha also even samma sambuddha or the supreme buddha also yaya bahasare by means of what language they speak to their disciples i mean the, to give in dharma talk in what, what language they speak to give dharma talk to their, their uh, uh, disciples uh, Sa Magadi Mula Bahasa. That is the Mag Magadi Mula Bahasa. Uh, okay, that, the, in that way you want to take the meaning. I need to explain here what, what are the Adhikapika Nara. So, uh, uh, Dr. Sheetal, can you do the uh, other slide? The other slide? Ah, okay. And you, uh, you focus it. And here, this is the uh, copper, copper destruction and the reformation. Destruction and the reformation. So here, you you have, uh, you know, the, uh, in the copper destruction, we have maha copper. Maha copper mean how many, uh, we have maha copper mean, uh, you have four asankhya copper for one maha copper. Four asankhya copper is equal to one maha copper. So for one asanke kappa is equal to 64 types of antar kappa. So, you know, after, uh, from the beginning, start from the beginning. So after uh, fully destruction of the, of our world, and then all the beings are in the, uh, all beings are in the, you know, what, uh, that is the Vehapala Brahma world. And then, but, uh, after fully formed, then after destruction, then the full, uh, you have fully formed world. World. Then again, you have uh, world is being fully formed and full formed. And then we are in the full formed world. So uh, you uh, go to that uh, uh, kappa existence. Kappa existence. You see the uh, by uh, zooming kappa kappa existence. Yeah, kappa existence. That is the what is called vivatta vivatta thai. That means that that is the existence kappa. So this kappa has how many uh, antar kappa? That means this is the asankhya kappa. This, this has how many antar kappa? You go to the red line. Red line. It has how many uh, red line? One, two, three, four, five. Like up to the 30, uh, 63 and sixty four. That is the, uh, up to sixty four kappa you have. And then, uh, you know, in in the first kappa, uh, uh, Kakusanda Buddha came to the world in India. And then second kappa, Konagama Buddha, Sambu, Sambuddha came uh, re reborn in India. 
and then third one is the kasapa samma sambuddha and then uh, fourth one is our gautama samma sambuddha and then you know now we we are in the fourth uh, antha cup now in the fifth cup next cup uh, metaya buddha is rebo- uh, metaya buddha reborn in the in india uh, for the whole world and uh, now you know this is the, therefore in the early in the very beginning of the first cup uh, the number one they are the adikappika nara adikappika nara mean the former uh, former ages the the humans uh, those are the adikappika nara so in adikappika nara that mean usually bodhisattva and their group and his group is the a uh, very beginning with uh, very beginning humans in this world uh, so therefore they use magadhi original language magadhi original language so see then uh, in the second asankhya cup right and uh, uh, it is what is called sangvata that means being destroyed that now uh, after after this cup right after this cup again your world destroyed being destroyed and then fully destroyed fully destroyed kappa and that is what is called sambatta tai and then again kappa being reformed kappa being reformed after fully destruction then that is what is called vivatta kappa and then kappa being reformed and then uh, this is the uh, existence this will be the existence kappa in near future not near future uh, future so therefore you need to understand uh, the, those four asankhya kappa is uh, equal to one maha cup so you can understand now we can live only this uh, as- asankhya cup that is the existence cup on the other three cups any beings cannot cannot live in the in the world so therefore this is very important uh, even we have maha cup but uh, only only one cup we can live so take it to the mind and then uh okay now now actually this what is this magadi magadi language how the magadi language form you know magada is the uh, noun uh, for the magada you know uh, this is the tadditha tadditha means the secondary derivatives so this tadditha nika pat nika suffix if if the magada and the nika suffix if you if you add nika suffix then it become uh, because of this na power na power it becomes uh, the vowel lengthening the first vowel lengthening or the uh, strengthen first vowel strengthen and then it, magada become magadika 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 and magadi are the same meaning so uh, keep it mind and then uh, this magadi language you know th- this magadi language actually has been uh, 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 asserted to be uh, um, to be a uh, one of the uh, yeah to be the wa- one of la- uh, ancient language or the original language of india um, by the by our uh, eminent ancient pali scholars uh, so uh, and then this stanza <coughs> samagadi mula bahasa and then uh, this stanza samagadi mula bahasa naraya yadi kapita kapika so this stanza is also proved uh, proved this is the, uh, the this adi kapika nara and other old beings are uh, all beings used magadi language so keep it mind this is very important and then uh, yeah and then uh, you know this magadi language has uh, magadi language extensively be classed or classified uh, uh, under the under two heads what are they the one is suddha magadha suddha magadik or suddha magadi language so suddha magadi language mean that is the pure uh, literary and uh, this has been used by the orthodox people at that time orthodox people and then again samma sambuddha also use this language to give dhamma talk and then you know the other one is the asuddha magadha asuddha magadha mean 
uh, asuddha magadha mean uh, that, that is the vulgar tongue that means that is that that, that uh, language is actually uh, not so neither uh, melodious no metrical and th that language is gibberish like or oh, it's very rude and uh, this lang this language that means asuddha magadha or desi magadha it is used by the it was used by the you know makkali gosala like uh, six uh, teachers they are out of the out of this uh, 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 this not the buddha sectarian those are the uh, outer sectarian uh, teachers when they expound dhamma to their disciples they use this language this language mean asuddha magadha uh, asuddha magadha mean the that is the desiya magadha language then the, that is not so a powerful language and then anyway nowadays this magadhi suddha magadhi language we, uh, now is addressed as pali language you know this pali term pali is synonymous with uh, you know tanti bahasa and magadhi bahasa mula bahasa so on so tanti bahasa why it is tanti bahasa this magadhi uh, mula bahasa become tanti bahasa or oh, pali bahasa become tanti bahasa or oh, uh, that is the another synonym so tanti bahasa mean uh, tipitaka uh, is named as tanti so therefore tanti bahasa you know tipitaka whole tipitaka is um, sustained by uh, tip, uh, tan, uh, pali bahasa and then magadhi because it was the popular dialect in the uh, at that time in the magadha country and patisambida uh, mag uh, you know patisambida mag in the it is the tipitaka book it says in this say nira niraye tirachana yoning petti visaye manusa loke deva loke ti sabbatha magadika bahasava ussanna what's the meaning um, this very magadhi language is the plenty of in all places namely where niraye in the hell tirachana yoning animal kingdom and petti visaye uh, the ghost realm and manusa loke humans humans human world and deva loke deva realms and deva realms if you uh, if you see deva realm you need to take the brahma realm also and then uh, everywhere sabbath magadi bahasa va utsanna magadi uh, magadi language is the plenty of the plenty of language is the magadi and then it says in this way tath sesa ottakirata andaka yonaka damila bahasa dika <coughs> bahasa parivattati that means the sesa bahasa parivattati sesa bahasa mean the the rest of the languages like tamil yonaka and you have andaka or telugu uh, and the uh, otta kirata otta mean the language of the creatures and the kirata mean uh, um, language of the jungle men which gradually change over the over the long course of time which gradually change but uh, but they say bahasa parivattati ayameva eka yathabut ब्रह्मवोहार आर्यवोहार संखाता मागदिग भाषा न परिवर्तति अयमेव एका भाषा एका मागदिग भाषा न परिवर्तति दैट मीन द दिस इज द वन एंड ओनली लैंग्वेज व्हिच डसंट टर्न इनटू द टर्न इनटू द मॉडर्न मॉड ओनली अदर ऑल लैंग्वेज आर टर्न एंड देन व्हाट इज द यथाभूत ब्रह्मवोहार ब्रह्मवोहार आर्यवोहार Uh, sankata magadi bahasa that mean uh, it is uh, so this language is called yathabuch brahmavohara aryavohara sankata magadi magadi bahasa that mean the, the magadi language which uh, sustain the tipitaka uh, expounded by the buddha so therefore it is what's called yathabuch yathabuch mean yathabhuta become yathabuch brahmavohara aryavohara mean uh, buddha brahma bu, sometimes bra, bu, brahma buddha buddha is addressed by brahma and sometimes buddha buddha o oh, buddha is uh, synonym synonym synonyms for the brahma and arya also for the buddha and uh, now 
so therefore, this is the uh, this Magadhi language which sus which sustained the Tipitaka. Therefore, um, uh, that that expounded by the Buddha. Therefore, it what is called Jathabucha Brahma Vohar Aryabo Vohar Sankata Magadhi Basa. And then Padarupa Siddhi Mahatika says in this way. Um, all Samma Sambuddha, while uh, giving Dhamma talk to their disciples, they use Nirutti Patisambhida power or the support of Nirutti Patisambhida while giving Dhamma talk to the disciples. Actually, this Nirutti Patisambhida, you know, it is the it is mainly achieved by Pali literature. And uh, uh, the, why they do uh, why they use do use this Magadhi Magadhi original language. Because of its non-turning nature, non-turning in nature, apari vattana sabhavato, non-turning in nature. Usually, this Magadhi language non-turning, not change. So that's the meaning. And again, according to the uh, according to the learned and uh, uh, well practiced learned and you know um, the skillful. Uh, Mahatera or our big community, Theravada big community, they uh, they accept that the first grammar book is uh, was uh, ascribed by Venerable Mahakachayana Maharahant. Mahakachayana Maharahant. That means in the sixth century before Christ. And uh, you know this venerable Mahakachayana Maharanta, who is endowed with, uh, who was endowed with uh, Patisambida, four types of Patisambida Jnana, four types of analytical knowledge, knowledges, or we can say four types of uh, discriminative knowledges. So uh, this Mahatir, uh, and then he's from, you know, he's from Avanti state in your country, in the, I mean, in the ancient Mahabharata. And now, uh, this, uh, you know, again, this Mahatera, this Maha, um, uh, Mahakachayana Mahatera, Arhant Mahatera, who is the top of the, uh, top, uh, who, who held top position in the 18, among 18 uh, Mahasavaka, or the great disciples, he, he is one, one of the top. Uh, he, he can expand the uh, Dhamma profoundly when the Buddha, when the Buddha uh, give Dhamma talk in brief, he can expand this Dhamma profoundly. So therefore, the, uh, Buddha made him made him as a top position in the among the 80, 80 uh, great disciples. So anyway, uh, the opponents uh, to the Kachayana grammar. They say another book is the Niruti Pitaka or Chula Niruti is the first book. And but uh, uh, our Theravada Buddhist culture, they believe about the Mahakachayana Mahatera. And uh, you know, um, this uh, Niruti Pitaka and what called the Chula Niruti or the Niruti Pitaka and then Maha Niruti. We have we had had two grammar books. But uh, that grammar book uh, is uh, usually uh, now those grammar book is not available to the world because sometimes they, they these grammar book for the learners of the Pali uh, by the learners of the Pali these grammar book uh, were not used so therefore they are now name only but now we have three tradition only that tradition has gone away now now we have three tradition what are that three tradition the first tradition is the um, Kachayana grammar tradition, and that that is in uh, that that is in sixth century. You know that that is in sixth century, uh, and then other one is sixth century. That is uh, uh, yeah, sixth century before Christ, and you know that uh, the the second one is Moggallana grammar tradition, and that is in eleven fifty three uh, Christian era. Um, and then you, you have Sadhaniti grammar tradition, the third one, Sadhaniti grammar tradition, that is in 1697 Christian era. So in between Moggallana and the Sadhaniti grammar tradition, we had had uh, that uh, Nirutti grammar tradition, but that, that has now disappeared from the world. 
Now, uh, uh, but basically all grammar, all, we have three tradition up to now. Now we have three tradition, Kachayana grammar tradition and Moggallana grammar tradition and the Sadhvaniti grammar tradition. But these old grammar tradition, you know, uh, teach us um, same thing. For example, they start from the Sandhi, you know, Sandhi mean the euphonic combination. And you have Sarasandhi, Banjana Sandhi, and Nigahita Sandhi. And you have again Nama, pure nouns. You have Pullinga, Ithilinga, Napunsaklinga, and Sabbanama. And you have Samasa, compound noun. You have uh, Kamadhara Samasa, Digu Samasa, Tapuris Samasa, Danda Samasa, Bahubihi Samasa, Avya Bhava Samasa. And again, you have Kitaka, that is the secondary derivatives. So do you have Samanya, uh, sorry, uh, Taddita, secondary derivative is the Taddita. Uh, that is the Samanya Taddita, Bahava Taddita and Avya Taddita. And you have again Kitaka, primary derivatives. That means it, it uh, derived directly from the root or the base, base of the verb. So therefore, these are the primary derivatives or uh, this what is called past participle. So uh, in the, uh, and then you again, uh, you have uh, karaka syntax karaka mean uh, what, what is the subject what is the object uh, object and the verbs and other vibhati uh, forming how to form the simple sentences and how to form the complex sentences and how how we can understand everything in the karaka section and again you have akhyata akhyata mean verbs and uh, what is the verb uh, mode of verbs and parasapada uh, atnopada active voice and passive voice we, you have so many things uh, in the in the uh, each, each of grammar has this basic basic thing. Uh, so therefore, don't be worried if you if you uh, go into the Kachayana grammar. Uh, same thing is uh, you can study same thing, and if you move into the Moggallana uh, grammar, you uh, again you can study same thing. <clears throat> and uh, you know. Whenever you go to the Sadhaniti, again, you can uh, study same thing. Same thing means Sandhi, Nama, so on, same thing. But uh, the expansion of the uh, Kachayana or the uh, what called the Moggallana grammar expansion, usually we can see in the uh, Sadhaniti grammar tradition, expansion of the Kachayana, uh, usually. So therefore, all, all three traditions we need uh, uh, at the moment. And you'll have, you have in the Kachayana grammar, you have six, 673 suttas, grammatical suttas. And uh, now we, we are turning into the Kachayana grammar. It, it has seven, 673 grammars, grammatical suttas. And uh, you know, this is the, uh, this book, uh, this grammar book is uh, written, was written by Maha Arahant Venerable Kachayana. And uh, uh, you, uh, Venerable Kachayana has uh, an another one, another one book is the Netipakarana. Netipakarana, that is not the grammar book, that is related to the Dhamma. Uh, he, he has written down this thing. And uh, we have many different books for the Kachayana. For example, we have Ka uh, Karika, and we have uh, Kachayana Vannana, and we have ba Bala Avatar, Padarupa Siddhi, so on many different uh, grammar book we have for the under the Kachayana grammar. But uh, uh, in the Kachayana one, that is uh, that is uh, written by uh, Myanmar one, Myanmar Bhikkhu, Myanmar Mahathira. That Kachayana one says the uh, the the complete uh, yeah yeah the compil compilation of the Kachayana in this way. Kachayana in Katha Yogo, Uttich Sangha Nandina. Payogo Brahma Dattin Nyaso Vimala Buddhina. What is the meaning? Kachayanena Kata Yogo. Kato Yogo. Kato Yogo Kachayanena. That means the main grammatical suttas are made by Kachayana Maharam. And then Vutti Cha. Cha mean and. Vutti Sangha Nandina. Vutti mean you know the development part of the suttas. Sutta, suttas made by uh, Sangha Nandi. Sangha Nandi, Venerable Sangha Nandi. And then Payogo Brahma Dattena. Payogo means the example, or oh, we can say Payogo means the Nidasana uh, in Pali. Uh, this, this Payogo uh, or oh, the example are given by Venerable Brahma Dattena. 
and nyaso vimala buddhina so nyasa nyasa or the explanation of the development part of the sutta are made by venerable vimala buddhi uh, in another separate book not not in that book that is what is called now it is what is called mukhamatta deepani also that is the synonyms and <clears throat> oh, didn't hear didn't hear or some what what you say didn't hear can you hear me yes we can hear venerable ah yes okay and then uh, it has mentioned in this way so many disciples who learned kachayana grammar uh, introduce a lot of valuable books to the next generation for example i say uh, i said karika karika tika that is from the myanmar one myanmar mahatera and you have mukhamatta deepani or the nyasa that is from by the venerable vimala buti uh, maybe in india uh, he is from india uh, he is a venerable vimala buti and then uh, nyasa padeep and again one one book and you have bala avatar that is patama dhammakitti polonnaru sri lanka uh, that, that mahatera was in polonnaru sri lanka and padarupasiddhi also choliya deepankara buddhapya mahatera he is also anuradhapura sri lanka so you have kachayana saratika kachayana veda purana tika kachayana sutta nidesa vannana many many uh, actually they are too numerous to be mentioned here so therefore um let's move to the now moggallana grammar tradition moggallana grammar tradition it's it has uh, 10 uh, 1737 suttas 1037 suttas so this is this uh, moggallana grammar tradition uh, written by the or oh, uh, we can say compiled by um, venerable moggallana Oh, when Mahatera Venerable Moggallana. So this Venerable Moggallana is in Thuparama Anuradhapura Sri Lanka, and actually this is a complete Pali grammar book, and uh, it has written by uh, actually this has written by independently uh, from the Kachayana grammar book, and uh, another name uh, also we have another name for the. for this moggallana grammar book what is called magada saddha lakkhana magada saddha lakkhana and anyway this this book is more bent towards the sanskrit so therefore some uh, people who uh, are not like to the, the some people who are not uh, not uh, delight into the uh, sanskrit language they they didn't uh, they usually don't need to uh, learn this um, mahatera's book but the, this grammar book is a complete grammar book um, if you wanna uh, learn this moggallana grammar tradition it's good and then uh, actually uh, you know this grammar book sans uh, more tends to the sanskrit so therefore it nourished by the panini grammar and the chandra gra grammar that is the uh, sanskrit grammar and anyway we have now nowadays we have following uh, uh, the grammar books uh, what called the uh, related to the moggallana grammar we have padda sadhana uh, venerable piyadasi by venerable piyadasi and payoga siddhi and you have padda avatar like bala avatar to the kachayana and then here padda avatar and virita sanna and susaddha siddhi sambandha chinta saratta vilasini all are sri lankan mahatera they they are, they are the sri lankan mahatera and panchika uh, padeep totagamu sri rahula mahatera and pada sadhana tika buddha prasadini tika all are uh, written by um, sri lankan mahatera and you know again uh, we have saddhaniti grammar tradition saddhaniti grammar tradition it it is uh, actually it was from uh, 1697 uh, christian era and uh, this saddhaniti grammar book uh, actually was compli uh, uh, compiled by um, venerable aggavansa mahatera aggavansa mahatera uh, that has uh, uh, that, that has three great book three uh, yeah uh, actually these these uh, Uh, Sadhaniti, anyway, 
uh, Sadhaniti came recently. Recently means 1697. But Sadh uh, um, Kachana grammar start from six six century, and Mogalana grammar 1137. So therefore, this grammar book is recent grammar book. But uh, recent means not very recent. We can say 1697. And this uh, Sadhaniti, anyway, Agamaha Pandita Agavansa Mahatera, who is the one who written down this book, and uh, this is uh, who, he is from Arimadana city in Myanmar, and uh, this is the largest grammar book anyway. And this uh, he was actually versatile in Tipitaka, and you know uh, uh, as well as Atagata or the commentary. Um, actually, this Mahatera. while he is uh, giving the giving uh, while he is uh, while he was writing the grammar book he discussed and com uh, he commented the different views of the other other books other books he commented and give the good account if you if you have time please read this and this has 10 28 chapters 28 chapters Uh, you have nama mala vibhaga 14 chapters and kriya mala vibhaga 5 chapters and again you have another for example sandhi nama karaka kitaka samasa like 9 chapters anyway we have now three grammar traditions but you know now worldwide worldwide is you, uh, the the grammar stu students use worldwide uh before entering into this these three uh, basic grammar traditions they use badanta acharya uh, pollatte buddhadasa buddhadatta mahatera who is from from who was from sri lanka sri lanka and he his book is the his book is, uh, to the uh, pali pali learners to the locals he uh, produced pali bahasa avataram and pali learners to the uh, foreigners he produced the pali new pali course 1 2 3 like three section and actually this this is uh, based on the padarupa siddhi and padarupa siddhi you know based on the kachayana grammar and this book is actually in, in, if you want to um, if you want to for, i mean for the newcomers or the novices i i highly recommend this uh, badanta acharya pollate buddhadas buddhadatta mahatera Uh, Matheras book, uh, Pali book. The the uh, and whenever you uh, after finishing this uh, book, you you can choose uh, anyway Kachayana grammar or you can choose uh, what called the uh, Mogalana grammar. When whenever you go to the Kachayana grammar, Padarupa Siddhi and Balavatara are the good book. And the uh, good book mean the those are very easy to understand. and uh, not so easy but easy and then uh, if you have time you go to then sadhaniti and or you go uh, to the badanta acharya pollate buddhadatt mahatera's book and then you study the um, mogalana mahatera's book uh, grammar tradition and then go to the sadhaniti but sadhaniti gives uh, huge account so that is also very important so therefore uh, now Uh, th those are the uh, those are the grammar tradition that we have, and uh, now uh, what are the importance of uh, having um, having mastered your grammar, Pali grammar? What are the importance of having mastered? So maybe your top most answer uh, is to attain nibbana. Nibbana means to get rid of whole body of suffering. Uh, How, that means you want to follow Buddha's instruction, Buddha's teaching, Buddha's teaching in the Tipitaka. So if you if you have ma mastered Pali knowledge, then you can go. For example, let's say suppose that you don't have a teacher, you don't have a good teacher. Sometimes you may have a lot of teachers in your country, but maybe. Uh, they are fake teachers or fake meditation teachers or counterpart they they are uh, uh, distributing counter counterfeit dhamma so therefore if you have uh, knowledge about the pali you can choose the correct path and uh, buddha in the mahaparinibbana uh, buddha when when he 
want to attain to the final cessation or the Mahaparinibbana, he has given uh, four criteria. Four criteria to uh, differentiate uh, fake Dhamma or the counterfeit Dhamma from the good Dhamma. So if you have Pali knowledge, you can you can read this thing. And what I briefly explained, now 9.50, 9.50, I briefly explained. Um, that means, for example, Buddha says at the uh, Mahaparinibbana in the Bhoganagar, you know, Bhoganagar in your country, and uh, Ananda Pagoda, in the Ananda Pagoda, Buddha says in this way, uh, that they are what is called Sat, uh, Chatu Maha Apades. Apades mean the things or the information or the criteria. So what are these criteria? Uh, Buddha says, if the if a bhikkhu would say, uh, take, take in some sentence, if the bhikkhu would say, these, uh, the, these are the Dhamma, these are the, oh, this, this is the Dhamma, this is the Vinaya, this is the Buddha's teaching. I heard this Buddha's teaching in front of the Buddha. And now I accepted this. And then uh, he told to the other bhikkhus to accept. And then Buddha said, don't accept and don't reject. Uh, but you, instead, what you want to do, you want to go to the Desana Pali uh, related to that sentence. Related to that sentence means if it is belong to the Vinaya, Vinaya section, you go to the Vinaya, Vinaya Pitaka. And if it is uh, belong to the Sutta and Abhidhamma, you, you read the Sutta and Abhidhamma related uh, sentence. Related sentence means whatever, whatever the statement he has given. And uh, you go to the phrase and verbs and every grammar what, uh, for that sentence. And if that sentence is uh, uh, agreeable to the Desana Pali and the commentary, then you accept it. And if it is not agreeable with the Desana Pali and the comment, you don't accept it and uh, you reject it. And uh, then you can understand, you can understand, oh, this bhikkhu uh, has got, uh, yeah, this bhikkhu has, uh, uh, has got floundered or confused. Therefore, uh, in front of Buddha, even in front of Buddha also, uh, he cannot understand this Dhamma. He cannot differentiate the true Dhamma and the, uh, what Buddha said and he, he understood in another way. And uh, like we have four criteria, four criteria to, uh, to differentiate good Dhamma from the, uh, from the counterfeit Dhamma or the right Dhamma from the counterfeit Dhamma. If you have mastered the Pali knowledge, so this is one, one uh, advantage for you. And then uh, to attain jhana, somebody in this, uh, in this very uh, time also, someone says jhana is not, not necessary and jhana not, not necessary as, as well as jhana cannot produce in this life. And uh, uh, then if we consider this thing, um, as uh, then Buddha says, no, don't accept, don't believe, don't accept and uh, don't accept and don't reject. And then you go to the Tipitaka and Tipitaka, you know, Diganika says uh, only Brahmajala Sutta and some another Sutta, only Jhana doesn't mention Buddha, by the Buddha. And Majjhimanikaya, a whole Majjhimanikaya contains Jhana Suttas. And then Anguttara Nikaya also same, Sainta Nikaya also same. Even Vinaya Pitika also Buddha mentioned about the jhana. So then without jhana, our sasana will disappear soon. So therefore, if you, if you have basic Pali knowledge or higher Pali knowledge, you can understand, good, you can differentiate good dhamma from the um, counterfeit dhamma. And then again, to attain Shad Abhinya. Shad Abhinya mean, you know, Dibba Chakku Jnana, and then Pubbe Nivasana Sati Jnana, Parachitta Vijanana Jnana, Dibba Sota Jnana, Iddivida Jnana, Manome Iddivida Jnana, and then uh, such type of Shad Abhinya, to attain such type of Shad Abhinya, if you have good Pali knowledge, even without a teacher also, you can, uh, you can practice. And then, how to uh, what what are the what are the importance of uh, dana sila bhavana and all are in, all instruction it's in tipitaka and 
what are the kamma and kamma effect all are in the tipitaka you can understand and then not only that if you uh, if you wish if you wish to attain uh, with the four patisambhida knowledge in the near uh, in the future sasana if you if you wish and if, if you have aspiration to attain with the patisambhida arahanship with the patisambhida arahanship uh, you this pali literature knowledge is uh, will be uh, actually it is more indispensable uh, to to achieve or to develop your four patisambhida knowledges in next sasana not in this sasana because this sasana you know only 1000 Uh, after buddha's Par- mahaparinibbana only 1000 years uh, within the 1000 years only patisambhida ho patisambhida knowledge with arahanship uh, uh, the devotees uh, or the disciples can attain uh, thereafter no such type of higher attainment higher patisambhida attainment not at all now uh, in the next sasana only so if you have good pali knowledge that mean your literature uh, if you have this knowledge because if you attain to the patisambhida knowledge in next sasana you you automatically uh, you have you can speak hun- more than 100 language in india so therefore to attain patisambhida gnana also this grammar grammar traditions are very very important to study so uh, this is the uh, this is the introduction so the, for the pali grammar pali grammar uh, traditions and uh, if you have any question now we have few minutes uh, you can ask from me do you have any question thank you very much then river uh, yeah mante dimala vansa yeah uh, if anybody has question please raise your hand and unmute yourself and ask questions please maybe no <laughs> oh yeah there is a question from uh, kusalnyani anagari kusalnyani aha uh-huh. mr gurma unmute have... yourself sorry sorry mm-hmm. ah okay can you hear me yes yes gurma we can hear you yeah i have one question um you uh, you mentioned that the and uh, there is a sesa bhasa parivartiti yeah yes sir yeah and oh not audible not audible we can't we cannot hear you gurma sesa bhasa parivartanti yes yeah yeah this this statement where is um stated or reference from Uh, that, that is in the patisambhida mag patisambhida mag you go to patisambhida mag gantharamb katha it is in gantharamb katha you have nirutti nirutta bilap or nirutti patisambhida in the description of nirutti patisambhida you can find out uh, gantharamb katha atta katha patisambhida mag atta katha nirut nirut granthaarambha katha and granthaarambha katha we have nirutti pati sambida uh, it, it explain uh, what called uh, atta pati sambida dhamma pati sambida nirutti pati sambida and pati bahana pati sambida so in the nirutti pati sambida section they say in this way got it thank you venerable okay. <clears throat> any <clears throat> other question <throat> one more question can you yes ask? yes um um uh, you said that the uh, pali language or magadi bhasha was adi kopika aryo bohar aryo bohar aryo bohar and uh, one question is raised and how the um, buddha teach the um, other uh, animals or um, just no no it is not the uh, it is not mentioned in this way that mean uh, uh, animal for example animal It's use like this language uh, they also no? yeah, yeah. yeah 
animal use this language early magad magad language and mm -hmm. uh, petaloka use this uh, early magad language and uh, it says in this way the uh, bu, bu, uh, it is not related to the buddha buddha anyway buddha gives dhamma talk to the human deva and brahma not for the other beings okay uh, uh, not for the other being oh, maybe some question ask i i, I didn't catch it um, so uh, did you get it now it is not the buddha related get it now did you get it then get it the answer kusanya nigurma did you get the answer maybe and not audible yeah she is not uh yeah. yeah we cannot hear her there are two questions one day on okay. the chat box yeah uh, all grammar traditions are canonical or non canonical that is one uh, question uh, yeah uh huh so canonical or non canonical yeah, yeah all grammar are canonical it's related to the canon okay and okay. there is another question one day on this yeah. grammar yeah. books there are any tika written on this uh, which grammar book to the on this they say maybe uh, not mention any specific name and they are there any tikas written on grammar books yes yes for a, you know for the uh, saddhaniti sorry uh, for the kachayana grammar we have karika tika karika maha tika and you know this kachayana vanana also a tika and kachayana pad ya kachayana saddha yoga that is also a tika many tika we have even balavatar balavatar may be uh, sorry balavatar is the uh, we can say it is the commentary and padarupadi also a commentary but uh, the the, the karika tika karika tika o kachayana vannana also a tika and for the moggalana we have many tika panchika padipa right panchika padipa and we have pada sadhana tika buddha prasadhana tika many tika for the uh, kachayana grammar book sorry uh, moggalana grammar book yes and for the saddhaniti we don't have any tika because saddhaniti it's very easy to learn saddhaniti because every fine details every nuances uh, all all nuances has been given right so therefore to the saddhaniti I, i think no need to tika or something because he, he expanded no everything he expanded yeah okay he expanded everything thank you very yeah. much vante is there any okay. other question i think that was it vante yeah 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 uh, so most venerable vante uh, vimala vamsa with deep sense of gratitude i would like to thank you for today's very insightful and uh, important uh, special lecture on the pali grammar and taking us through the journey of very rich tradition of pali grammar one day and by mastering as you had mentioned by mastering the grammar and pali one can even attain nibbana by truly understanding and practicing the dhamma true dhamma as thought by the enlightened one deeply grateful vande thank you very much vande yeah. it's my pleasure <laughs> vande okay then uh, yeah okay. then let's um, stop no y yes by, i think there is yeah. no question any more yes yeah sharing so, merit idam me punyam asava khaya vam ho tu idam me punyam nibbana sa pachayo ho tu मम पुण्य भाग सबे सत्ता भाजे ते सबे मे समुण्य भाग साधु 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 हैव कम टूअर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ आवर टुडे सेशन आई वुड नाउ लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट श्री वि आर अंबेडकर सर to deliver vote of thanks to our venerable uh, guest speaker as well as all the participants of today's session uh, ambedkar sir please 
vote of thanks from B.R. Ambedkar Sar. Is he here? Ambedkar Sar? Um, hello? Yes, yes, we can hear you, yes. Uh, okay, hey, Dr. Archana, okay, Rupali, okay. Hello? Awas are you? Yes, uh, today the vote of thanks from Hashi Namgyal, sir? Yes, yes. <laughs> ah, okay, sorry, because I have the name of the Aram Baker, sir. Sorry, sir. Okay, please, would you please deliver your vote of thanks for today's special guest and all the participants? Thank you. Mm. Video Acha Namo Tassa Bhagavato Arahato Samma Sambuddhasya Saravadishti Prahanaya Yasad Dharma Mateshayat Anukampa Motuadaya Tam Namasya Megotamam Anirota Munutpada Manuchet Mashashuatam Anegarthamana Narthamanagam Manirigamam Yapartitias Mutpada Prapancho Vashamam Shivam Deshayama Sambuddhas Tam Vandeva the Tamvaram Aja Ahang Pali Vasayang Katang Yutang Yapayami Adja idang etha katang yutang yapetung samagatasya mama chitta ativa pasanang ati viditang eva eta diata saptadas september dinanke deva mitte anagarik dhammapala mahodayasya jayanti ati asming dinanke visa pali gora vidivasa rupena manyate patatas dinani payantang online majamena pali pakus savo Ayojitang Hoti Eta Sabba Pathamang Ahang Pali Pakus Savasya Katang Yuta Bahasanasya Avasarang Datung Badandacharya Buddha Data Pali Sangwadan Patitanasya Pamukang Sabbe Sang Pia Doctor Papula Garapara Mohoda Yang Pati Katang Yutang Pagatami Aja Asa Pali Pakus Savasya Visit to Atiti Ati Pujaniyo Badanta Vimalavansa Mahathero Pujaniyaha Badantaha Vimalavansena Kachayana Mogalayana Saddaniti Pali Vakarana Savisayo Samatayaha Pathaitavanto Pali Basayang Katang Basate Pali Basayang King King Likitang Ati Etas Visaye Samatayaha Basitwang Ato Ahang Etang Pujaniyang Badantang Pati Katang Yutang Dharemi Sadu Vado Badantaha Nunang etesang visas visaso jato, young eto ito parang barateva visway pali bahasaya somewhat danang avasang basisanti sabbe api pali bahasaya lekisanti iti agecha assa some melanasia sangyo jakaya sushma vajracharya mahadoyo mahodayo ahang sadu ada dadami. Aram becha etam hi pali pali pakus savasya Sagata bahasanas bahasana datwa sabbe sang abinandanangcha akari parul se meshram mohodayo ahang ta pati api sadhuvata vachanani dadami Yecha etha jum madhyamena jum madhyamena online rupena sangyojita santi te sang sabbe sang pati ahang badantacharya buddha datta pali sangvadan pati thanasya Pakato Sadu Vadang Karomi Sadu Vada Sadu Vada Bhavatu Sabba Mangalam Namabuddhaya Uti Atu Asinam Gelsar Thank you very much for your wonderful vote of thanks in uh, Pali uh, Now I would like to end today's session here by chanting Saturara Kabhavana and uh, if any one of you would like to join, please join. Namami Buddhang Gunasagarantang Satta Sada Huntu Sukhi Avera Kayo Jigutso Sakalo Dugando Gatsanti Sabbe Maranang Ahansa Nama midhamang sugate na desitang satta sada huntu sukhi avera kayo jigutso sakalo dugando 
गच्छन्ति सबे मरणं अहंच नमामि संघं मुनिराज सावकं सत्ता सदा होन्तु सुखी अवेरा कायो जिगुच्छो सकलो दुगंदो गच्छन्ति सबे मरणं अहंच साधु 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 थैंक यू एवरीवन एंड लुकिंग फॉरवर्ड्स टू मीट यू